Can Chavi be a suitable replacement for Eric Ten Hag? Sky Sports released a report and a video just yesterday speaking about how Chavi is one of the top candidates to take over at Man United when Eric Ten Hag leaves and he's sacked. Is this a good replacement? What are our thoughts on Chavi? What has he proven in his managerial career? that would make him a good fit for Man United. A lot of positivity around this, a lot of split thoughts, some negativity, mostly on the fact that why is Eric Ten Hag being sacked? We don't need to sack another manager, but welcome to the Red Devils Den. Let's get into this very interesting short video about Xavi. Yesterday, Sky Sports News released the story that Eric, that Xavi is one of the top candidates to overtake Eric Ten Hag when he leaves his post and when Ineos have had enough of him. When are these stories ever going to end? They're not going to end. They're never going to end. And we're told that Xavi is now being added to that list of potential suitors. We know Thomas Tuchel has now gone on to England, so he is no longer in the race to become that manager. We know Amarin's on that list. We've heard now Xavi's on that list. Gareth Southgate's always on that list. Graham Potter's on that list. Zinedine Zidane, for some reasons, on that list. But today we're talking about Chavi. My first thing that I always will remember Chavi for, or what I believe really made him a coach to look at at Barcelona, was his bringing through of youth, which is something similar to what Eric Ten Hag has done at Man United. But he brought through players like Pedri and Gavi, and these two players are absolutely ridiculous in the euros for spain for barcelona in la liga for their ages what are they like 18 and 19 really really young um promising talents which he brought through at barcelona now is this a reason why man united are looking at him i think they are i think that is the reason why they are looking at him i think he won one trophy at barcelona you can correct me if i'm wrong i'm not massive on la liga um or following but for that reason alone, I think Ineos and Sergio are looking at a manager like that, similar to Graham Potter, where you give him really, really young players, he nurtures them, and you sell them for £100 million three years later. So I think Eric Ten Hag has been doing that. Um, if you look at players like Kobe Mainu, Garnacho, even Ahmad to an extent, if you want to look at it like that, Maybe you can throw Toby Collier into there as well. But I think Ten Hag has a similar um, way of coaching and managing as well, bringing in these young players. And I think when it comes to to, to Xavi, um, he's obviously not in a job at the moment. He was at Barcelona. They kept him on. Then a few minutes later, they decided they'd rather let him go. And they brought in Hansi Flick. So I think that this new candidate being added to our list of possible replacements means that Ten Hag is really on thin ice. And this is what I wanted to get at as I end this video. Ten Hag is never going to be on ice that is not thin, clearly. Every game is a must-not-lose. Obviously, we can draw, but it's a must-not-lose. And I think as soon as he loses a game, probably going to pull the trigger and the new manager will come in because these stories are not coming. And I don't know who they're fueled by. Obviously, the mainstream media. The story came from Sky Sports. so. You know, it kind of makes a bit of sense. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, I think the fact that every day we get a new name of a new manager interested in the job just reminds us that Eric Ten Hag is so, so close to leaving the club. Even though Ineos have said, you know, we're going to stick with him. This is what we're doing. We're going to stick with him and we're going to make it work. Every day we get reports from mainstream that this is the new manager. This is the new manager. So I think as fans, maybe we do have to be a bit more vocal. I am still very much Ten Hag in. Results haven't been very, very good, but I'm tired of the three-year cycle. We need to end it. We need to stick with someone for more than three years and see if we can build something. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. This was a short video. I just wanted to react to it because I think it was very, very interesting that his name, as we'd mentioned, obviously he's not in the job at the moment. Uh, so could this only come in next season? But let me know your thoughts. Remember to smash a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Drop some comments in the comment section. Let me know if Chavi would be a good fit for Ten Hag. I for to replace Ten Hag. I feel like he's very similar to Eric Ten Hag, where the youth development is very, very big when it comes to these two managers. But you let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next video.